Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And jump over to Facebook and like my page to upload your video links, pictures, and join the conversation there. Click on the links in the description below. Hey guys, now follow me on Instagram at Ultra Maximus Reviews and Twitter at Ultra underscore underscore Maximus. Links in the description below. This is extremely underwhelming. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're going to take a look at the brand new Godzilla vs. Kong. Kong with Battle Axe. It's a six inch line uh, figure from the new movie Godzilla vs. Kong that has yet to be released. Uh, cannot wait for this movie. And I believe that this is an exclusive to Walmart from Playmates. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I know Walmart is the only place I've seen these uh, having been released thus far. And they've got this six inch line of figures, which is cool. Uh, but then they have the giant line. Uh, there's a Godzilla and a King Kong. And to be honest, they're very boring compared to the six inch ones. These have more features and accessories and they weren't in scale to the previous movies like the, the Kong and Godzilla from the previous movie figure sets uh, were, you know, pretty good size. They were probably anywhere from, what, 12 to 18 inches or so, at least. And uh, the Playmates ones are, might be 10 inches tall. So I went with the six inch line because they just looked like they were a bit more fun. So let's go ahead and jump in there and take a look at Kong. So here we have Kong in the packaging, and I find it interesting they call him Kong in the uh, movie uh, advertisements and the boxes and everything. I wonder if there's a some kind of copyright thing on King Kong. Um, and I, I don't know, They I, I think Kong, it was what's Kong and Skull Island, uh, and they just called him Kong in that one. So just, I, I just, for whatever reason, they like to call him Kong now instead of King Kong. If you know if there's a specific copyright thing with that, leave a comment down below. I'd be interested to know. So we've got the Godzilla vs. King Kong uh, logo up here at the top. He's got battle damage, which is very, very similar to the Jurassic Park toys back in the day, which I really do like. And the Jurassic Park toys nowadays have it, but the new Jurassic Park toys, instead of a piece that comes off, um, you can reclose it. Uh, they're kind of spring-loaded, so this is very much more old school. And he comes with a battle axe. Why? Why? I don't, I don't get it. Why would Kong need a battle axe? He's a giant frigging gorilla. He can like pick up trees and boulders and things and use them. And d does he make the axe? Is this just a toy thing? Is he actually going to make an axe in the movie? It looks like he's he's made the axe out of one of Godzilla's spikes on his back. And I'm wondering if he hits Godzilla with like a tree and it sticks in there and he just keeps it and he's like, ooh, ah, and, and keeps going. If that happens, I called it here on this channel. But again, going back to the box, I digress. Um, it's got the battle damage reveal. It says it's in the monster verse, um, new line of monster movies. Hopefully we get a Gamera and a Mothra movie, maybe some more, and then we get the buildings kind of uh, burning up right there. King Kong or Godzilla versus Kong, all that stuff. It's open face, like a lot of the toys are doing nowadays to eliminate plastic. So just kind of a close up. Here it is, the front of the box. There he is, there he is with his battle ax and battle damage. Yep, and then side of the package right there. Ah, and he falls over. Back of the package here. 
It's got a little write-up of the Legends Godzilla and Kong, and then uh, a little write-up over here. Shows a very pissed off King Kong uh, holding the axe, shows the battle damage, all the other figures in the line. Now, I have seen one skull crawler. I have not seen a Warbat at all, um, but I only picked up the Kong and the Godzilla, to be honest, because they looked the most interesting, being the title characters. So just a close up of the back here. Um, if you want to pause and read that, you're more than welcome to. There's that, and uh, if you want to pause and read that, you're more than welcome to. But yeah, there's Kong with his battle axe. Here are the other figures in the wave. So yeah, very interesting, and uh, that's really about it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get Kong out of the box and see what we think. So here we have the battle axe King Kong, or just Kong out of the packaging, and you know, I have to say for a smaller figure, this is actually a pretty cool figure. Now, of the two, I've always been more of a Kong fan over a Godzilla fan. While I like both movie properties, I, I always want Kong to win in Godzilla vs. King Kong, so um, I, I have to side with the King Kong toy here. So there are a few things about this lineup that's very, very interesting. One is the battle damage. I like the battle damage and how Playmates dealt with that. Uh, the other one in particular is Kong's battle axe here. I'm gonna pull that out of his hand uh, and take a closer look. So, okay, this is clearly one of Godzilla's uh, little spikes off of his back. And I had thought, you know, maybe he like jams a tree log into it and he uses this to beat the crap out of him. But if you look, it actually has uh, like leather bindings holding it in uh, like an actual axe. So is he actually going to build this in the movie or am I going to be right uh, the first time? I don't know. I I'm not really digging the fact that it's got the bindings. I think that's a little overboard. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Now, as far as the battle damage, what I really like about it is it's very, once you install it, I mean, it's very smooth. You don't see it, it does not fall off at all. Um, in fact, it's a little difficult to get off. Um, you gotta get your fingernail under the right point and then ah, pry it loose. Uh, so there it is. It's just a little rubber piece, uh, a very thick rubber piece, but a rubber piece nonetheless. Uh, and then there, there is his uh, battle damage, which again, very, very cool. As far as articulation on this figure goes, let's take a look here. He's got his head moves back and forth. There is no up and down movement really. Arms go up very high. They twist all the way around. He's got a hinge joint on the elbow. Uh, also with a twist, both wrists do move around. Uh, there's nothing at the waist, unfortunately. The legs do kick up that far. They don't go back very far. Uh, they do twist outward like that. Um, he's got a single joint knee and um, that yeah that's 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 about it I mean it's a pretty decent range of articulation especially for a playmates figure which is you know uh, primarily known for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles these days uh, but uh, yeah overall I'm definitely digging it now I gotta get the the legs back into the proper place these monkey feet are a little awkward uh, to move around monkey actually ape but yeah, overall, not too terribly bad. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, the sculpt is okay. Um, I, I don't know, it just, it is what it is. I mean, it looks like Kong, I guess. I like the red beady eyes, the mouth's painted well. It's got a very dark face. Uh, a lot of the paint apps, much like every Playmates figure I've ever seen, are all on the front of the figure. When it comes around to the back, it's kind of a lighter gray plastic paint. So all the paint, dry brush, and detail, absolutely 100% on the front face of the figure. Again, this is pretty commonplace for Playmates figures. We've seen this for multiple lines of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and it just kind of goes along with this Godzilla versus Kong line. Looking at the midsection of the figure, again, sculpted pretty well. I like the arms. I like the design of them. He's got these scratch marks on his chest. Uh, which is very, very cool. Um, the way the fur comes around on his arms, again, very gorilla-like. The battle axe, ugh, again, 
I, I think this is going to be him getting a spike off of Godzilla to build it. I don't know why. It's got the leather straps. Um, it's it's okay. It's It's got the paint on it, I suppose. We've got his little monkey booty going on there. Uh, again, all the paint apps on this figure are on the front of it, but again... The, the, you know, it, it's, it's what we expect out of Playmates, and yeah, for what it is, it's okay. And finally, take a look at the uh, legs of the figure. He's got some very ape-like feet, uh, which is interesting. They stand pretty well. You kind of have to find the right pose, otherwise he will want to flop over. Again, we get the paint apps on his toes. Uh, the cool thing is he's got uh, his little gorilla toes. They're all nice and painted, and there's a, a brush up into the fur. Now, uh, again, just to the back of the side, it, it just goes to the straight gray plastic. Um, but, you know, for what it is, I, you know, I, I keep saying this is what we see with Playmates. But for this design, I mean, it works. I don't mind at all. I think all the colors kind of mesh well together. For comparison, here we have the Battle Axe Kong with a Toy Biz Marvel Legends Grey Hulk. As you can see, the Hulk is bigger. So this is a pretty small uh, figure set. Uh, this is a six inch scale Kong figure. And uh, literally, I mean, he's about six inches tall. So this uh, uh, old school Grey Hulk is kind of towering over him, even uh, being hunched over. So while, I don't know, they're not the biggest toys, uh, they're definitely interesting. And, you know, kids are going to like them. They're pretty durable. I, I just, I don't know, I like my Kong figures a little bit bigger because uh, it's, it's King Kong. Unfortunately, the giant uh, Kong figure really isn't that much bigger and it's just not as fun as the smaller pieces. So is the Battle Axe 6 inch scale Kong from Godzilla vs. Kong in the upcoming film something you want in your toy collection? Ah, uh, this could be an easy pass for a lot of people. If you are a King Kong or Godzilla fan, this might be something you definitely want to pick up. If you're excited about the new movie, uh, you might want to pick it up. I will say, kids are going to like these figures. Uh, they are durable. They're fun. Uh, they got the battle damage. They come with accessories. Uh, it's a six inch scale. Uh, I think Playmates did a good job making a good kids toy for the movie, uh, which is cool. If you're a Kong completist, you may want to pick it up, and I will say, I think the six inch figures um, are a better value than the larger figures. They come with accessories, battle damage, have all the articulation, and they're only $10. I mean, you cannot beat that, so that is definitely a good deal. Um, how is this figure going to be represented in the film? Is Kong actually going to have a battle axe? What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. I still think he's going to have a branch or a tree hit and pull off the spike, and that's where we're going to see this. Uh, uh, thumbs up if you think I'm right. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? So there he is, Kong, from the upcoming Godzilla vs. Kong. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And jump over to Facebook and like my page to upload your video links, pictures, and join the conversation there. Click on the links in the description below.